Under the hood, all data on computers is stored in bytes, in binary format. But you should know about some of the key types of data that you can find in files which are built up of those bytes. The first is tabular data. Tabular data is spreadsheet-like data which can be put into rows and columns. It can be represented in many different formats such as CSV, JSON, YAML, to name a few of the most common. And it's a form of structured data because you always know the meaning of the information you can expect to find in each column. Text data is another abundant form of data. Obviously, most of the information available on the internet is in text format, so it's super important to understand. And again, it can come in a variety of different formats like TXT files or maybe even PDFs or any of those. Text is a form of unstructured data because you don't know the meaning of the information which any particular part of the text contains before you look at it. The first thing in a piece of text won't always be the title of the document. Another wildly important data type is image data. Images can be stored in many different formats like JPEG or PNG, the most common ones you've probably heard of. Structurally, most images are represented as a grid of numbers. And in a color image, you've got different color channels, which is a grid of numbers that represent the intensity of that particular color in a particular location. Each of these grids is a channel, or in this case, a color channel. And images are forms of unstructured data because you don't know the meaning of the information which any particular pixel contains. It's gonna depend on what's in the image. The idea behind how images are stored can easily be extended to how more complicated data is stored as well. So for example, imagine you have a satellite which is receiving the intensity of X rays, UV rays, visible light, gamma rays, and others. The values of each of those things can be represented in a different channel which again, it will represent their intensity in different spatial locations of the area that the satellite's looking at. So essentially you'd have something like image data with just many more channels. And that can be applied in all kinds of contexts as well, even outside of images. Videos are essentially images recorded over a timeline. So much like images, you could easily extend video data to more complex data that has many more channels just by storing those many channel data points over time. There are so many more data types which I haven't even mentioned, but this should set you up to understand the most common and most important ones you're going to be working with.